what's going on guys we have this question right here it's asking determine the greatest load p that can be applied to the truss so that none of the members are subject to a force exceeding exceeding either 2 kN in tension or 1.5 kN in compression so let's uh, to figure it out let's uh, put the direction first so this is only upside direction is possible for this possible for this one therefore we know the reaction is going to be acting opposite side and here it's going to be opposite side and since uh, this is acting this side this is going to be acting this side right and this is also opposite side reaction and this is opposite side this is going to be like this side and this is going to be this side so we put all the direction right here so let's find the we have vertical component uh, vertical force p right here so we can we can let's uh, let's calculate the horizontal components so first of all we have to know this uh, angle between is 30 degree how do i know this because the total angle of uh, triangle is 180 and we have 60 60 so this total is 60 if i divide it in half it's going to be 30 30 that's how i know that so let's see uh, i'm at c points at c i'm taking the horizontal components uh, in static in statics total for the zero so i know that this zero and the ac uh, this is 30 degree not related to this side this is related to this side therefore it's sine 30 AC is sine 30 and if you see both are opposite direction this is going this side this is going this side therefore this is minus BC sine 30 equal to 0 so from this one we can find AC is equal to BC so this is my first solution then I can take the vertical components of at, at C it's going to be equal to 0 if I take it's going to be AC cos 30 30 both are going upwards so plus BC cos 30 and I'm taking upward positive here right side positive and this is p is coming downward so minus p is equal to 0 since we have found out ac is equal to bc i can say 2 ac cos 30 2 ac cos 30 is equal to p therefore if i if i solve for ac i will end up with Mm. AC if I solve for AC I will end up with 0 0.57 7 and P right P and since these two arrows are facing opposite side we know it's compression and if you look at BC uh, AC is equal to BC therefore uh, same number but we have to look at the whether it's compression or tension but BC also face two arrows are facing opposite side therefore it's also compression so we can say both of them are equal since we have this information we can move on to A, A, A at A at A and we can find the AB right so to find AB I can use this component this so let's find the let's take the horizontal components so sigma ff f of x is equal to 0 since this is true ac cos 60 cos 60 uh, both are opposite direction this is going this side this is going this side so minus ab 
is equal to 0. So if AB is going to be equal to AC equals 30. If I solve for it, it will become 0 0.289 P and these two arrows are facing each other, it means it's on tension. So we have all this information. We have found this one, this one, this one. That's all we need. And the question is asking in the force exceeding 2 kN in tension or 1.5 kN in compression. So, so we, they are asking which one is true, right? Since we have this is the only tension right here. So let's apply this value given and see. So if AB is equal to 2 kN, they are saying the, the tension, tension is 2 kN. So I am applying for AB because it's the only tension we have. 2 kN and if we apply AB is equal to 2 kN and if I apply 2, I can solve for P. So P comes out to be 6.9292 kilo, kilo newton and if I solve for AC with this information because AC is this this times this P so if I multiply this one by this number I will get 4 kilo newton. 4 kN and B is also same but this is this can't be because they are not they are saying it shouldn't be exceeding this value so this is not true so let's check the other value the other value is given 1.5 kN in compression so if I apply so these are the compressions we have AC and BC are the compressions we have so we can apply to one of those and see so if I apply for AC for example 1.5 kN um, BC also same thing so P comes out to be 2.6 kN and AB comes out to be so if I plug this value to the AB 0 0.289 times this value AB comes out to be 0 0.75 kN so this is not exceeding the values given therefore this is the best best thing to choose so i hope you guys like this video see you next time